everybody. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to Janet. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> I made it to 60, you guys. Yeah. It's been no easy feat either. Well, I'm just putting on a little bit of makeup. Um, didn't plan anything today. Um, my neighbor brought me a biscuit and a drink for breakfast this morning. And uh, I have the cutest part I gotta show you. <laughs> Don't think of it as turning 60. Oops. Think of it as scoring six perfect tens. <laughs> I thought that was so cute. It really, it made my day today. Yeah, I didn't go to any barbecues or anything like that. I think it's the first year I've never had a cake, but I guess when you get 60, it's too old for all that. Getting too old for all that stuff, right? But, uh, yeah. Um, it's the first time I've talked to you since the day we went up to the grave site. And, uh, it, it's been about a month since then. But, uh, I've... I'm about back to myself as far as my schedule and my emotions and things like that. And uh, I have a little bit of news for you. Oh, I've got bunches of news for you. As a matter of fact, I'll talk to you while I'm putting on my makeup. All right. A few days after your funeral, my cousin calls me. He says, let's go out to lunch. I got some things to talk to you about. Uh, yeah. Well, we went out to lunch that day. And, uh, he said, you know, they read the wheel and all that, or, you know, I guess he was left executor over her wheel over her estate. And, uh, <laughs> it's, I don't know, I am going to get a little bit emotional now, but anyway, she had already signed that place where I, where I sat with her at, that you guys seen on my other videos. She had already signed that over to my dad and my uncle a long time ago. So, you know, it was split between them, but she left her two grandkids, which is me and my cousin, or they, she had left us everything else to have. Which, you know, I, like I had said before, I knew any of this. The only thing I really wanted was that picture of my great-grandmother and that corn tree plant. And, uh, you know, nothing really much. Well, comes to find out in her safety deposit box at the bank, it's a big old CD. I'm not going to tell you guys how much it is, but I will tell you I'll be buying a van after everything gets out of probate in six months. And I'll be paying cash for it. And I won't have to get a no jumper <laughs> like I was going to. But, uh, yeah, if everything goes good, nothing's contested, which it shouldn't be. Uh, my cousin who went and talked to her to a, a state lawyer. And, um, uh, you know, in Alabama, you have to wait six months. So, uh, yeah. I'm happy about it. <laughs> but, so, that's that news. And, uh, 
Okay, next thing. Since the price of gas went up, and you know, my channel's been all about me being off grid, and uh, you know, part of that was using my generators. But since gas went up, I figured it would be cheaper. Now, I had one line of power ran to this room that I stayed in. I stayed in this one room. Because if I put power to this whole old mobile home, it'd probably burn down because the rats and everything's been chewing on wires and stuff. So, and while I was gone, it's one reason I had everything hooked up too. When I was gone, I didn't live here. Someone had stolen all the guts out of the box outside on the power pole. So I had to buy a new box, new breakers, pay somebody to put it in, have that wire run to this room, and that wire is not cheap. It, it ended up costing me 600 to have power ran to this one room. But, if I had to pay even just say five dollars a gallon and run my big generator to be able to run my air conditioner, I'd just say ten dollars a day, that's seventy dollars a week. What, a hundred and forty every two weeks? That's right, right, and then then one forty and one forty is what, two eighty? 280 a month, it wouldn't take long to add up to $600. And some days it'd probably be more than $10 a day. Because that'd be just running during the day, the big generator. And it it is just so humid already here. So, I'm semi-off grid. I still haul my own water in. I still cook on with propane and heat with propane. But the only reason I really got the power it's for the air conditioner because it you know and everybody's like well what will you do when you get a van it's gonna be that much no when i'm in a van and get a van i'll be in 70 degree weather if i have to because i'm gonna follow the 70 degree weather wherever it goes and it won't be in the humid state it's not so much the heat that gets me it's the the humidity oh my but yeah, so I should, I'll put a little clip of it in here, my power pole and where they ran it up under my trailer. This room's a mess, but I'm gonna show you what I did. Since I'm gonna ha since I have power, oh, and I had to put down two hundred fifty dollar deposit. A power company, but I'll get that back. And this is what I got. I was gonna get a Dometic fridge and stuff, but. They're so high, and I found a killer deal on that little thing. Let's see. Right there, that little fridge. Because I've decided if, if I get a van or... And I'm thinking about them church, like them church buses thing, maybe. I'm going to have to have something on stand-up in it. My back is like killing me. But that little refrigerator just comes up to here on me. So I can put it, and it doesn't use a lot of power, so I can put it in a van, use it just like I would a Dometic fridge, you know? And, uh, and I'll still have my generator, and I will have a shit ton of solar put on top of whatever I get, or if I get a bus, like one of them little church bus things, I'll, I'll have it all over that thing. I'm going to be totally on solar but I'll always have that big generator as a backup and I've got my little bitty one if I just want to charge something like out but yeah I just so it's it's gonna be Janet the hip jip leaving semi off grid <laughs> But it's still tough, you know, and the only reason I was able to get that power and stuff hooked up is because for the last year living off grid, I was able to save money to do that. So that, all that money was going to go toward a van, but it was going to be like a piece of crap van because, you know, I just wouldn't 
written, able to save it fast. When I'll tell you what I drive. I drive right at eleven hundred or over eleven hundred dollars a month, and that just <laughs> doesn't go anywhere if you have a bunch of bills. So the reason I was living off grid is to save for a van, but. Now I know I'll have a little bit of leeway, you know, and uh, yeah, so we can't change that money for six months, no matter what, so I'm going to be here for six months regardless, and I won't even go look at vans or, you know, I, I kind of get an idea of what I want, so when I do have money, I'll, I'll know exactly what I'm looking for, but uh, I'm not going until I have cash in hand. I keep thinking something's going to happen to me because I've been waiting six months, but I'd probably have to wait a lot longer than that, even at the rate I was able to save. But, uh, Going back to my power though, the light bill, I mean, it's not going to be much at all because I mean, the only thing I have on it is this little 5,000 BTU air conditioner, which is going to go with me too, and the refrigerator, and these little things I charge, I mean, I can charge them up on my solar, my solar panel outside, but since I mean it's hooked up, I, mean, I did, I had two plugs, two 110. So I'm not running anything big. I don't want to run washer and dryer and all that stuff because I don't want to have to have water and everything here because, oh, that would entail a bunch. But anyway, that's what I found out. And it's taken a while for me to absorb and get used to it. And I really didn't even tell anybody at first that a couple of close friends and, uh, yeah, which I wished, and I know my uncle would sell me his part, but I doubt my dad will, that other part of my mom's house, and I could live down there and get away from the neighborhood, which really, we hadn't had a whole lot of trouble here lately. My neighbor, David, he has just turned out to be the best neighbor in the world. He's the one, him and his son, that can help me get do my power and uh, get me chicken. Yeah, I like them fresh eggs. And he, uh, my neighbor, he's had a chicken that's been sitting on his back porch and it makes a mess, like it crouts everywhere. But I would always get the eggs, like the ones, if he just had a few left over, I'd always get the eggs, and I then got spoiled, I'm telling you, I've been eating fresh deer meat, or you know, it's fresh when it was, it's been in the freezer, but it was packed very fresh, and it's planted, and have antibiotics, and now when I go to eat some of that, the other day I bit some chicken and I swear I can just taste the antibiotics and steroids. I don't know if you guys don't know this, if you never eat anything fresh that doesn't have all that in it for a little bit and then you go back to it. Oh you guys, I just can't hardly eat that store bought stuff. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I guess I'm gonna have to buy a license in every state to hunt and fish that were on the road. Now, I'm not a vegetarian or anything, but I hate, I hate commercial farming. I think that's the cruelest thing in the world. And I think people should have to go work down to know where their damn food comes from, because them animals lead a miserable life. I'd much rather eat something from out of the woods that li lives a great life, you know. And they're gonna get ate by something anyway, whether it be a coyote or bear or whatever, but I, I don't mind hunting I hate potion. I hate a poacher though. If I was a game warden, I'd confiscate. Ooh, I'd be confiscating trucks and guns and shit all day. But anyway, 
Uh, there was something else I was wanting to tell you guys. Oh, I got a little tear my porch down soon. And I was going to set up my car so you could see how I camp, like here. But I happen to think, well, I've got all them pictures from when I was camping about a year and a half. Well, it's been over a year and three months now, I guess. And a quartz site, how I had my um, car, my Altima set up for camping. So I've got all those pictures and videos, and I'm going to put them on here because that's for even thought about YouTube. But, uh, yeah, there's that. And it seems like there was something else. So, uh, I'm still going to paint my floor. I'll, I'll video when I do that. But Oh, I bought some furniture. It's out on the front porch. Um, it's a cabinet. And I'll film it when I get it done. But Alright, you see where my stove is right there in front of that window? Alright. It's a white cabinet with a doors underneath. And so, I'm going to put that over there because I put my pots and pans and cookware, you know, things like that over there. But I'm still sticking with things that I'm going to use in a van. It's a cabinet that I can use in a van as well. And I was already planning on getting one. Something like that. Oh! I meant something else. Wait, wait, you have to show them what I got. neighbor goes to the uh, flea market all the time and look at this wire shelf. It's got these baskets. Well, let's get it from that side. That slide out. I mean drawers that slide out. See? That top one comes out too. I just need to start to do it. <laughs> but yeah, so anything still, anything I buy, it's going to be something I can use in the van. I'm still very set on getting a van or a small bus. Small, kind of like a shuttle bus, I guess. But I'll tell you the reason I thought about shuttle bus or the like one of the church bus things. When they came and pitched me up for transport, that thing was so much easier to get in. Like, the steps were lower and I can stand up and I have to bend over. Because here lately, I, even though I'm getting stronger from carrying my propane bottles and water and all that stuff, uh, I'm getting old. I mean, I am sick today. <laughs> but anyway, it's just, uh, it's rough on my back. And some days, because you guys know how these hands are. And some days is better than others. But uh, they're, like after my grandmother died, um, after that other video I made of the cemetery, I, I had a rough, I had a rough time there for a little bit. Uh, I slept a lot that first week, but even after that, I, I almost didn't get going again. You, you know what I mean? Like I, I just couldn't get that motivation. I'm always talking about. I, I just couldn't get it. But I'm, I'm getting there now. I'm, I'm feeling better. And, uh, but my blood sugar was just, I don't know if you guys know anybody with diabetes, but if you get upset or stressed or whatever, that'll make your blood sugar go crazy as well. And even though I had that great news about, you know, inheriting the money and stuff, I, I just still had just a lot of things I had to work out. And uh, I have to tell you guys, my dad came by me a card with a hundred dollars in it for my birthday but it went on my birthday and I, we had always been out to dinner it's and always went and did something until now so yeah I'd much rather have had like company or you know what I mean I'd much rather have done something but it come back by about another hundred so Better nothing, huh? I didn't start anything with him. I just, yeah, I'm just trying to get back to my positive self and stay there. And uh, 
they can all do what they want to do, but I'm trying to live my dream, and I, I'm a lot closer to it now. Can you guys believe that? Can y'all believe that I'll be able to get, you know, nothing new, which I wouldn't buy anything new anyway, but I can get a, something a lot newer, and something I won't worry, and I can have money in an emergency fund. That was one thing that was going to stress me out. If I had to go on the road without an emergency fund, I just about wouldn't go, go if I had to because, I mean, what would you do? I mean, even like if vehicle. Oh, I know what I was going to tell you guys. That car burned another ignition pool. It's sitting out in the yard. And you know what? I've done got so many <laughs> from Advanced Auto that they won't. They won't honor the manufacturer's warranty anymore. I mean, it's like six one. But uh, I have an appointment tomorrow. I've got a new one on there right now. The last one lasted 30 minutes. Yeah. So I've got a new one on there right now. But I haven't driven it since last Thursday. I'm just going to wait because I got an appointment with uh, Aaron's Auto tomorrow. The ones that fixed it when my water was in my gas. And uh, they're kind of high, but they do good work. Maybe they can find out what's wrong with it. But regardless, I was going to get a tune-up and all that, even before the ignition coal burn up. So maybe they can find out what's making them ignition coals fry. And I uh, did put, i tell you one thing we did do. I already had it, and I was working on it. And my neighbor, David, came down here. He can't stand for women to do stuff. I think it's funny, but I was going to wire in a new connector where it connects on to the, let me see, where did I put that thing, I thought I had it in my hand earlier, I was going to show you, it's a connector that goes on that, um, oh here it is, it's a connector that goes right there and that, mm -hmm. and um, I had replaced them on three of them, but that one didn't look like there was anything was wrong with it. But, I mean, it's been hot several times, so, I mean, it could be that. So, I had bought another one, and it's just three little wires you splice together. I mean, anybody can splice a wire, right? If you guys don't know how to splice a wire, you, you'll get you some wire in practice. <laughs> But anyway, I'm putting a new connector on, but I'm still not driving it. I'm just driving it straight over there to the garage tomorrow morning, and David's going to pick me up from there. And I, I've got to go. Guess what? My, the license expires this month. Uh, my pistol permit expires. My tags. So I've got to get all that done tomorrow. But he said he'd take me around because I'm get. I can get all of it at one place at the county mill with my tags, my license, and my pistol permit. So, yeah. Can you believe I everything couldn't do at one time? But that's okay. You know, at least I have the money to do it, even after paying to have the power done. And I don't know how much the car is going to be, but payday, I get my check on the third, so payday be. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow's 31st, Friday, so I'll get another check Friday, so even if I have to wait till then to pick it up, but even after paying all that, I still have a little bit left, but, you know, I have suffered and done without to save that money that I'm spending now, I mean, I really did, and, but, you know, I have suffered nothing like some people do in this world, so, I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm okay. But, uh, alright. I'm gonna let you guys go. And I may take some little pics of my, my cabinet when I get it in. And outside my box and stuff like that. And throw in here somewhere. Throw in this video. You know, up in one of them corners. But anyway. Change is inevitable, you guys. So just go with it. Don't forget to subscribe. And give me that thumbs up. <laughs> All right. Love you guys. See y'all later. Bye.
Happy birthday to Happy you. Birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to, to Grandma. Happy birthday to Grandma. Happy birthday, birthday to Grandma. you. Woohoo! <laughs> One dress, baby. Say yay! 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 yay.